Hey friends, I wanted to show you a dash out the door makeover today. It's so fast, easy, you're going to love it. And it's perfect for spring and summer when you just want to put a little something on and dash out the door. Okay, so first of all, you can already see I have makeup on half my face just to save time in the video and you can see imperfections because hey, this is life and the skin's been with me for a while. We've done a few trips around the sun. <laughs> okay, so a Dash Out the Door makeover starts with a cream eye color and we have four shades of this, but this is the pink starlight. It's beautiful. As you can see, it's on the one eye, really nice and easy to put on. So I'll put that on first. I always do my eyes first because normally I wear powder shadow on a normal given day and it can trail underneath. So if you do your foundation first, then you put your eyeshadow on, then you've got to do the cleanup. And I just want to save myself the time. So I always do eyes first and then everything else. So it comes with a little applicator and you could just smooth it on like this, or we do have a brush or you could use your fingertips. So usually I just kind of do a nice light smoothing and then I just kind of fan up and just kind of cover the entire eyelid. And bam, you're done. So this is pink starlight. We also have a light cream color called light beam. We have a purple called purple nova. And then we also have a really pretty color. It's kind of a brownie gray color called meteor shower. They're all beautiful. You can take it from day to night. They're very versatile. Um, it's not a primer, it's a liquid eyeshadow, but you can take it day to night. If you were like this and you're going somewhere later, you can just put a little more eyeliner on the bottom or some shadow on the bottom and put a shadow in the crease and you take it from day to night just like that. So super versatile and easy. So, so again, that's pink starlight, cream eye color. Um, the next thing I would do was go ahead and now do my face. I do eyeliner after. I know it's a lot of fun, right? Okay, so what we're going to be using now is CC cream, which is a tinted moisturizer, which is also nice as we go into spring and summer when you just want something a little bit lighter wearing and feeling if you're in our area where there's a lot of humidity, it's kind of nice not to, you know, to have an option to do something a little bit lighter. So there's five shades. The shade I'll be using is light, uh, very light clearly, because I am very light. Now, again, tinted moisturizer, so it has SPF 15, but um, if you're an oily skin gal, then you don't need to put moisturizer on before. You could clean your face, do any serums, and then put your CC cream on, and that will serve as your SPF and your moisturizer, okay? Now, if you were a gal, I'm going to move my hair over a bit, and I do have my little trusty mirror that I like to look at. Now, see, y'all can see imperfections. We, we, we ain't got any perfection going on over here, girls, um, but I'm going to just do this on one side. Again, it's the tinted. Oh, try not to get it in my hair. Um, it's a tinted moisturizer. Now, you can use, if you would like, you can use a brush to smooth it on, but since it's moisturizer, it's a little bit more creamy, so I just usually use my fingertips to smooth it on. Now, if you got dark circles like I do, you're going to have to have a little more help than just that, right? Okay. So, there we go. So it's covered pretty good considering it's a light coverage and y'all saw the redness and some of the stuff I deal with on a daily basis. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is our silky setting powder. So we used to have mineral powder and it's been replaced by the silky setting powder, which is like a color translucent. So it's a little bit lighter coverage and um, you can get more coverage from it. It has a little clicker already did it. So you could just tap it into your lid. And then you can do the clicker off. And that way, when you travel, when you open your container, you don't have powder everywhere. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. One, if you use, this is an all over brush. So just a big fluffy brush and you can kind of dust it all over. If you want more coverage from the powder, you could use a stiffer, shorter bristle, like even our cheek brush. You could use this to apply it and use it like mineral powder, small circular motions. So you can get more coverage from the silky setting power powder, <laughs> but depending on the type of brush you use. So you can see the difference there. Today, I'm going to just dust it on, but I'm in the habit of mineral powder. So I like to just do the small circular motion still because I just do. Okay, so just a little swish of it all over. There we go. Okay, now you can worry about those bangs. Okay, next. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little under eye corrector because I got some troubles under the eyes and you may be that girl as well. The under eye corrector I really like. 
it's a peach undertone to help neutralize some of those bluish purple tones that we can get under our eyes. And as you age, you lose, especially when you go through menopause, you will lose some of the fat under here. So the bags become more apparent, the darkness, it's just the skin around your eye, of course, is the thinnest skin on your entire body. So um, that's another issue as well. So with the under eye corrector, usually where you're the darkest is here to here. I'm a little bit dark all the way. So I like to make sure I kind of do dot it kind of like a V. <clears throat> and there's another little tip just to brighten. You can use a regular concealer. Y'all know this video won't be five minutes because I'm talking, but really you could do this look in five minutes at home without me narrating. <laughs> um, I do like to kind of do a little bit of the light there. The light, just regular concealer. <clears throat> so you want to do what's called stippling with your ring finger, and that's just pressing the product into the skin versus rubbing or tugging or pulling. And y'all know I have an accent. Pulling. <laughs> well, you know. Welcome. Welcome to the South, people. Welcome to the South. Okay, so here's the deal also. <clears throat> I, I like to put it on afterwards, but then I usually will go through with just a little bit of powder to set it. And voila, there we go. I'm all concealed up. Sorry, I didn't mean to block it. I was having a moment. You know, when you get over 50, you have special vision too. I mean, you know, getting, getting older is not for the weak at heart, girls. I'm just going to say it. Okay, now... Let's do a little blush. So we've powdered, we've got that on. We're just gonna do a little blush. I love the shade, it's called Shy Blush. It kind of matches what I have on. It's a peachy pink and it has a little shimmer. So if you're the kind of girl that's like, I don't have time for all that highlighting contour and I don't even wanna think about it. Then what you can do is just do kind of a shimmery shade because it ends up giving you the look like you have a highlighter on because a little sheen in there, okay? Now, wherever you put your brush on, you're gonna distribute the most color. So if you start right here, you're gonna have that little sweet, rosy cheek. So you can start in the middle and dust and do it, or just notice I needed to blend that, or you can start in the back and just smooth it down this way. So however you want to do it, I kind of do both. Okay, so there we go. Little blush on both sides. Make sure I'm even. I love this color. It's so beautiful. Okay, so that's shy blush. Next thing is a little bit of liquid eyeliner, or you can do pencil eyeliner. I'm just a liquid girl. And I love our waterproof because we have the felt pen. It's so easy to use. And when you do eyeliner, you don't have to do like one perfect line. Sometimes you move a little here and there and that's totally fine. You just don't want to do where you pull your eyelid out. It's really, really damaging on your lid to do that every single day. Okay, making sure I can see. Now, I used to do a super great cat eye. And now it's just too crinkly over there, girls. So I do a little, a baby cat eye. <laughs> And it's okay, I've adjusted. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a little there, maybe a little further over, and voila, there's eyeliner. Easy breezy. Okay, next thing, I'm gonna just do a little bit of our Lash Love Black. We have Lash Love Waterproof and also Lash Love Lash Lengthening. Um, but the way the bristles are on this, they separate and define. So um, one thing you can do, which I'll show you how I do it, I curled my eyelashes already, probably not that great, but y'all know when you curl your eyelashes, it's like an instant facelift. Curling your eyelashes is your friend if they don't naturally go up. Okay, so I should have probably curled them again, but anyway, I'm just trying to save time, right? Okay, so it's going to separate and define. This is going to be coat one. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to put gloss on and come back and do coat two. Okay, <clears throat> last thing is, excuse me, I'm going to do the pink ballerina gloss. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. And one thing about our glosses you may not know is they just fit to your lips the way the applicator is. This is a really pretty shade. It's just kind of light and natural. We have lots of beautiful colors. And they feel good. They're called unlimited lip gloss and they feel wonderful. <clears throat> so there we go. Okay, last thing, just one more coat of mascara. 
I'm, I have my Demi Moore voice going today. Does it sound sexy and wonderful? Okay, so you can do the ultimate mascara to do a second coat. That's what I find. It keeps your eyelashes up better if you use two different mascaras. And it's a red carpet tip to separate and define and then to volumize. So you can volumize with our ultimate or volumize with our lash intensity. And this is a big fat brush. Now, can you put it on the bottom? Of course, I'm just trying to do it kind of fast today. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. And just like that, we're done. How fast was that? So dash out the door. Let's review what we used really quickly. <clears throat> On our face, CC cream, love it. Easy breezy. Um, under eye corrector. So CC Cream's 22, just to give you some price ideas, 22. Under Eye Corrector is 16. Then we've got the Silky Setting Powder, that's 20. We've got Shy Blush, which you can put them in a compact or not, 14. The Pink Starlight Cream Eye Color, which is 16. The um, Lash Love Mascara, 16. Everything's 16, I guess. Unlimited Lip Gloss, 16. Pink Ballerina. Uh, lash intensity, this one's 18, change it up a little bit. And then the waterproof liquid eyeliner is um, 18. So that's what I use today. It's the Dash Out the Door Makeover. Clearly it's about five minutes at home, but it's a beautiful, quick look when you want to throw and go and um, look really great, but have a more simple look for the day. So some people love Dash Out the Door every single day and that's their normal look and that's great too. I like having variety of just having different looks to pull out of the bag and change it up. So here you go, Dash Out the Door. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know, let your consultant know if you'd love to try these products. Have a great one.